Yo, what it do, guys? We're back with the videos. With the screen records, I mean, you know, because I've been posting music videos still, but we're back with the, you know, like FL Studio type of thing. And uh, today, I'm gonna actually show you like an EDM project, which I've never done before just because my computer can't handle that. But just yesterday, I bought a capture card, which um, lets me, you know, record my laptop from my other laptop over here. So yeah, finally I can actually show you guys like bigger projects and stuff like that. So hopefully I can do more videos. And even though this takes CPU load off of my main computer, um, it still requires my other computer to, you know, keep up. So hopefully that doesn't have like problems. But yeah, anyways, uh, today I'm going to show you guys my future bass banger. So yeah, this song has about five point i don't know five point something million views on i mean not views uh listens on soundcloud and you know it's like pretty much my most famous song out there on soundcloud not youtube for some reason on youtube it doesn't have that much clout or whatever but yeah um so i'm just gonna show you guys how i made it and then like you see these projects are literally completely different from my other ones because they're a little bit more simple but this is just a little bit more on the bigger side so if you haven't heard the song i feel like you should go you know go listen to it real quick and then kind of see like oh, okay like this is what it sounds like and then come back here so i can show you guys exactly you know what everything is and stuff like that and another thing before i begin i actually have two versions of this it's like the original remix and then i have a vip remix if you don't know what vip remixes are it's like they're like better versions of it in a way it could be better or worse depending on your opinion but um yeah basically it just has more things on it and uh so yeah let me just actually start just you know with the vocals so before i even made this song i didn't even know who kino was um it was actually a subscriber so shout out to why hold on let me check your name real quick i actually ypnic i think so yeah shout out to one of my subscribers ypnic i believe that's how you say your name and uh it was like a long time ago, you know, he just commented on one of my videos and he's like, yo, can you make a song on this song? And then I checked it out and I was like, like, holy. So yeah, I'm just going to start with the vocals and uh, you can see I kind of like chop them up a little bit. Oh yeah, another thing is this song is actually not uh, in time with the tempo. So I had to do a little bit of stretching over here, I believe. These are the vocals right here. You gave me a show that we On top of that, I have another layer, which is uh, basically just pitched up all the way. So this is what it sounds together. And then I believe this has delay as well. So, And then we have these uh, little reverse effects, reverse reverb effects, which uh, just come in like before another. So yeah, like basically on every one, before every one, on the count of one. They just uh, come in. You show me love when I yeah, and then we have another little section right here for the intro. You are, you are. Oh, you are. So next up, we have these violins right here, and these are actually not part of the original remix. They're part of the VIP remix. You know, I opened up the original remix. And I started working on it through here and then I, I guess I accidentally saved this. So the violins are actually just kind of stuck here and I mean I can mute them of course but they're just there. And then another thing of the VIP remix is uh, these drums are here. I actually don't have like a little trap part in that section. It's just uh, the plain vocals I believe with the other instruments right here. But these are what the violins sound like. And that's pretty much it you know you just got to get your chords right you know get them full and then here we have what is this oh this is a piano actually all right so after that piano i have this little plug that just plays throughout the song and then here unfortunately uh like the rhythm of the plug actually changes compared to the original remix what you hear here is actually part of the vip remix 
So it's just like a different rhythm, but basically it uses the same plugs except uh, this one, I believe. Because this, this one isn't part of the original, so I added it to, you know, kind of make it sound a little bit different. And then all this is automated by this automation clip right here. So as you can see, it kind of opens up and it's called a, you know, filter cutoff. So here we have silent and basically you just automate the, the filter cutoff. So, you know, as it slowly goes throughout the track, it opens up the cutoff. And finally, we have the sub in the mid bass. So it's just it's something pretty simple you know I make it go in the reason I have it doing that is because I think these impacts you know they produce a uh, bass so I didn't want any of that colliding so I kind of like duck it in and make sure it just uh, like fades in and then that's pretty much it you know something simple and after that finally we have the drums that I added all these right here they come into the VIP remix And I believe I have an 808, yeah. So after those eight bars, we continue with the same drums, but we add a, I think we add more hi-hats in here and then also this uh, percussion loop. So this is what they sound like um, by themselves. And then all together. And then eight bars after that, it dials down with these uh, impacts I have right here. So they just, uh, I just removed all the other drums except the, basically the claps. So this is what it sounds all together. And by the way, this is all part of the build-up right here. So after another eight bars, we add back some percussion right here. You know, we have some uh, claps and some more claps. <laughs> and then we have a hi-hat and another hi-hat. So this is what they sound like. And then, yeah, so all together. And then right before the job, we have this fill. I made it um, just with single toms. You know, so here's the first one. These are all by uh, Cashmere, by the way. And then we have this last one. And then we have this little, what is this? I think it's like reversed. No, it's not, but just like an orchestra shoulder hit. And this is what they sound like. Alright, so finally we're at the drop and um, you know here I introduce more layers so basically more saws, super saws and um, I believe I use two different kicks compared to the verse let me see um, where is it so here I use this one alright never mind they're literally the same one <laughs> so yeah I have that I'm pretty sure this is another snare right here yeah snare 40 so without this snare this is what the clap sound like or the snares and then I, I'm pretty sure I just added this for more uh, like power you know you can hear the difference there between this and this you know all this stuff right here they're all just basically effects like um this is a uh, so this is basically just white noise it's like a crash and then we have this reverse uh, ride and then what that does is just kind of work with the snare and the clap to kind of like you know just all this stuff just works together so let's actually play that from the beginning over here so
And that is pretty much it for the drums. Alright, so all together there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, layers of sound. Just including like the synths and the bass and all that. And this is what they sound like if I just play them alone. But of course, you know, you gotta add that sidechain and the way I did that was just create an automation clip and then um, basically um, automate one of these. So that's just, you know, when this goes down, this goes down and that, you know, it creates space for the kick if you don't know, you know, about sidechain. If I put it with the drums, now this is what it sounds like. And then all together without the vocals. So next up is actually the most helpful tip I probably have in here and it's the, you know, the little wobble sound. And uh, basically you just use the LFO tool. So you go over here and uh, let me actually check where this is. All right, here it is. So just watch the LFO tool move while this basically, you know, controls the rates and, you know, the cutoff. So yeah, I mean, it's a little bit too fast to actually keep up with the software, but you know, basically it just starts off really fast and then it kind of slows down. No, I don't know what this is. I didn't even know I had that in there. Like, <laughs> I actually just forgot about that. I didn't even know that was in there at all. So yeah, it's just impacts, you know, all that sort of stuff down here. Symbols, all that. And then after the drop, we have the breakdown. You know, it just gets a little quiet. And I made sure to kind of dial it down because, you know, after that, it's, you know, it's something soft compared to the drop where it just kind of like hits and then, you know, you kind of want to make sure you just bring it back down. And that's what I did here. And then the vocals come in. You are, you are. And then here we have this choir. I think I used Nexus. Yeah, there we go. And then, so just go to voice and then pick this preset right here and literally sounds just like this. And after that part, we pretty much just have like the original song just playing because, you know, sometimes I just kind of like to leave some originality into the remix. And this part right here is just literally that, except with the choir and, you know, piano uh, coming in right here and some shakers as well. You know, it's pretty straightforward just with um, the original song. Now, after that comes in the uh, next buildup, which is literally almost the same thing as this. But, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I introduced uh, a couple of things in there. All right, so never mind. They're actually pretty much the same. If you can see the percussion, it looks exactly the same. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, I believe. So, yeah, same buildup, same everything. And then I believe, yeah, so I just add these uh reverse effects back over here into the build up and then pretty much the same job again and it could have changed a couple things here but i mean it looks pretty much the same so and finally 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 at the end of the song you know it just ends with a guitar of the original song Yeah, like half of the work of this is actually, you know, right here with all of these uh, effects going into the, you know, all the sounds and all that and, you know, all the mixing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Even though I made it sound so simple, this remix actually was still kind of processing after the fact that I posted it because it did not sound like the drop did not sound as hard as it does right now. If you go to SoundCloud, you know, it's going to sound, uh, you know, like pretty, pretty strong to what it was before. It used to be, or you know what, you can actually go to my YouTube channel and then the remix I have up, you know, this exact one, the one I have on, on my channel, you can go check it and then uh, listen to it, listen to the drop more specifically, and then go to SoundCloud and compare those two because 
the one on YouTube is actually the first version, which, um, you know, again, it's a little bit soft on the drop. It's just not as uh, impactful, I should say. You know, it was mixed a little bit different. And Cause you know, I probably wasn't experienced as much as the time after that. So I would always kind of go back and fix it. And I think that happened around twice, but yeah. So yeah, go check out the SoundCloud one and you'll see there's like a difference between the YouTube one and then, and then the SoundCloud one. Yo, so this is not gonna be part of the video, but I actually thought of just throwing this in for you guys. So if you want to know how to make a super saw, you know those, uh, basically what you hear in the drop, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you can use Serum or, you know, any other plugins that allow you to make, you know, pretty much a saw. Um, so all you got to do is just turn up the unison to about 8. It actually doesn't really matter, just somewhere between like 7 to 16, which Serum provides you to be able to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do 8 and 7, and then pretty much you just... You know, detune them a little bit like that. Make sure you <laughs> activate it. And, uh, you know, you just want to listen to it. So let me just. You know, you can literally mess with just these two knobs, whatever. You know, make them unique to what you want them to sound like. I'm actually okay with this. And. That's literally it. You're pretty much done already. Uh, you could do a whole lot of more things, uh, like this filter right here. You know, you can change it up to like this, and then uh, you know, you can make it sound however you want. Uh, you could even put an LFO on there. Something like that. You can even automate the levels for this. You know, just bring them down like this. Wait, is it this way? Uh, hold on. All right, it's actually the other way. <laughs> so bring them down like this, and then just uh, put them at like 71, whatever you want. Uh, there you go. Something like that. Uh, you could even put a EQ in here. You could make a filter with it. Like, uh, let's see. Like, we could put it all pass on there, and then literally just. You know, you can add a reverb if you'd like. I like to kind of leave my saws dry, and then put a post reverb after that. So yeah, um, we can compress that. You know, turn on or oh, not. Oh, there you go. Turn on multiband compressor, which is OTT basically. So yeah, this is why I don't like putting reverb because it sounds good, but I'd rather have it, you know, post effect. So yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff, you know, even distortion. Literally everything on here, so. So actually, let's make this. So yeah, you can do all that sort of stuff. You can add a sub if you'd like. And then make sure to turn on the sub right here, you know, even add noise as well. So this is noise. So let's see. And then make sure to do this. And this one as well. Actually, it's the other way. 
One noise I actually like to use is uh, bright white. So yeah, um, make sure to mess with this as well. So you can leave it with the envelope so you can have like a, you know, like a sort of an attack. Let me turn this up. Well guys, that is all I have to show you. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have not heard of the track, please go on SoundCloud, play it. It's literally almost gonna hit 5.5 million views, somewhere around there. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments, like always. Make sure to hit that like button, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. And so hopefully now with the capture card, I can do, you know, more videos. So yeah, as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.